Yo, what's going on guys, it is your boy Liquify here and today I'm showing you a video that was released last night on channel 10 here in Sydney, Australia. If you are a Sydney watcher or if you are on my channel, you'll know what I'm talking about if you watch The Project or ever heard of it. Uh, it's a TV show that's over in New Zealand called The New Zealand Project and there's one, I'm pretty sure there's one in Melbourne as well down in Victoria. But this one recently was on Sydney one. I don't think it was on Melbourne or New Zealand. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any videos of it. But I don't want to keep you too long about with this stuff. I just want to let you guys watch the video to and see how you feel. Just leave a comment in the comment section below on what you think about it. If you're going to actually get it or not. Does it change your views on it? Does it change your, change your opinion on it at all? Uh, to me, it's changed my opinion a little bit. I'm just letting you guys know. So I might make a purchase to it. I don't know. Uh, it's just the thinking process for me right now. And yeah, so sorry if it's not Fortnite that you wanted to see. But I barely even play Fortnite at the moment. I'm a multi-game player. So hope you guys do enjoy the video. Please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe with notifications turned on. And comment down below if you have any comments about this video and comments would be helpful because it might actually give me an opinion on how you, people are feeling about this video and all that so anyway guys I'm gonna play the video peace out around the world gamers have announced plans to boycott the latest installment in the battlefield series after a trailer featured a British female amputee fighting in battle. Bloody Angry, the game was rewriting history by including women on the front line during World War II. The hashtag NotMyBattlefield soon began trending on Twitter. A disgrace to every vet and every one of the 71 mil died. You can't rewrite history for your own agenda. One of the game's developers hit back today at Critics, saying... Our commitment as a studio is to do everything we can to create games that are inclusive and diverse. It's more or less 50-50 in terms of the gender split today. Men and women playing video games. What we're seeing is the games industry starting to recognise that. Gamers insist that their complaints are not misogynistic, but are about not papering over the misogyny of the past. We should never rewrite history for the sake of being inoffensive. If you wipe away the truth, you wipe away its lessons. Women fought in World War II in a variety of roles, so to pretend that the history of World War II is the history of men is totally inaccurate, actually. And I think that people are getting upset about this is more revealing about them than it is anything about history. The project contacted veterans, historians and the RSL. None of them had heard of the story and most simply didn't care. So should we really be upset about games taking liberties with history? Or is this the wrong battlefield? We're now joined by Rad, who is a gamer and also a host of ABC's Good Game. Um, Rad, what I can't figure out here is, does the Battlefield series try to pass itself off as being historically accurate or not? To an extent. I mean, most of the realism in those games really comes down to the, like, weapons and vehicles. Um, traditionally, you know, games aren't history textbooks. They're not trying to accurately retell the entire war. But very much Battlefield does pride itself on having elements of accuracy, but not being an overall very accurate look at history. Right, OK. Then I suppose the question this raises for me is maybe should it be? Like, given that there'll be a whole lot of people, this is a more general question, I guess, but a whole lot of people who this is actually how they learn about history, this is how they learn about World War II, should they, do they have an obligation to be as accurate as possible? I mean, I would probably say please don't learn your history purely from video games. Uh, that's probably not the best way to go about it. Games can be great teaching tools. For example, there's a great game called Valiant Hearts, which actually does teach things about the war quite accurately. But at the same time, even that game is not really purely historically accurate. It still has to be entertaining and fun. We've been talking to people today who've suggested there are other parts of the game that are not accurate. For example, some of the weapons that are used weren't even available in World War II. Is the fact that this is the thing that's causing the stink, does that kind of point to overtones of sexism? I 
personally think that it does a little bit. I do know that historically there has been conversations within the gaming industry where people are unhappy about um, the representation of women that currently exists and also unhappy about pushes for better representation for women. And I don't think that's limited purely to the gaming industry. I think it's a much bigger cultural topic that needs discussion within Australia and the world. Um, but I certainly do think that gamers need to look at this as a good thing. They need to look at it as we're getting better stories, we're getting better representation, um, and not focus so strongly on trying to make sure that our games are historically accurate, but more so look at them as being good representation of the people that play them. And for example, women play Battlefield. I am one of them. Um, so it would be fantastic if we can have avatars within that game that represent the people that play them. Rad, there were no women in the Pac-Man wars, and I was personally furious when they introduced Miss Pac-Man. Uh, what would you say to angry people like me? Uh, well, I would say that the Pac-Man Wars actually existed purely within the Pac-Man games, and mm. thus Miss Pac-Man is part of that series, it's canon, so there were women in the Pac-Man Wars. Okay, wow. I accept you and my anger has dissolved. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, thank you very much for joining us. You get the whole gaming thing, I, mean, I don't understand why people get enjoyment out of playing a computer game, running around shooting. Well, that's a different issue. Yeah. <laughs> We've got lots of feedback on this one. Actually, Michael on Facebook says, the main complaint is women in battle not being realistic or historically accurate, yet it's fine that your character can take several shots to the chest, throw down a medipack and be fighting fit within seconds. Very realistic. <laughs> yeah. It's a game. I like how you turn this into a, why do people bloody play video games? <laughs> I just don't get it. I've got a son that's addicted. He yeah, I've got a daughter that's addicted.